Okay, finishing touches. Well, let's have a little look here. Now, the nice thing about um, using layer styles is that uh, let's just quickly grab a brush here and a white um, nib for the brush. Here we just click and spray all over here. I'm just spraying with the brush. You can see that it's keeping the um, the layer style and it's applying them to anything add that you add to the existing layer. So Command Z to undo that. And what we can do here is finish up with this missing eyebrow by using the path tool here and very quickly just drawing in um, let's just make sure we've got the path section selected draw in an eyebrow like so so you can even at this late stage you can add to your design so let's right click to go to make selection so we don't even need to go to the paths palette uh, choose a radius of 1.5 and then what we can do is just fill it in with white like so so edit fill white okay so there we have um, yet another bit carved in you can see the chalky detail more clearly now um, and if you think uh, when it's going to print out it's going to be a little bit too unsubtle just go back up to bevel and emboss again double click on here and you can adjust the levels even at this stage so nothing is um, out of your control you can uh, easily take these down a little bit more uh, and go to the pattern and play around with the scale of that and the depth of that as well. Okay, so that's just because we're looking at the video and the resolution is quite low, I'll keep the chalk to quite high, but for print I would actually take it down uh, a lot more. Okay, so there we go. Now that's looking a little bit um, more realistic. Let's just um, take the burn tool here and make sure you've got highlights selected, exposure about 45. Let's just rough up the chalk a little bit, just gently give a little bit of variation because this is not going to be pristine, it's going to be weathered um, increase the diameter of the brush a little bit um, so just weather them, rough up the chalk a little bit just gently tap, you could use a stylus, it's pressure sensitive if you like um, so the I think National Trust or English Heritage look after the existing chalk course at Uffington so it does get a bit of a spring clean now and then because otherwise the grass will just grow over them they um, do need to be maintained and looked after. Um, if you want to undo some of these sprays, then what I like to do is go to the history palette and you can then see all the last histories there. And you can just reduce or remove some of them, drag them to the bin, and s watch the. Uh, some of the brushes are disappearing there, like that one up there just disappeared. So um, you can step back through history f as well if you like, um, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's that. The other thing you might want to do is take a, a normal brush maybe have a look further down the brushes palette at some of the more specialist brushes um, like the grass shape brush here perhaps take that one there um, let's create a new layer um, let's hide him again go away you um, and as you spray with this brush you've got a kind of grassy looking effect mixing from foreground to background so let's take the eyedropper here and choose some greens and some browns from the the original image and now when we take the grass brush and spray it mixes between the two it would help if the grass layer was actually on top of the chalk layer let me just show you quickly how it's working okay so what I'm going to do now is just zoom right in close and just begin to make the grass overgrow some of the edges here um, I'm going to reduce the size of the brush I can right click to reduce it that way alternatively I can use the um, brackets keys I'm using the smaller bracket key here to shrink down. You can also increase the size. So I'm just gently round the edge of some of the uh, chalk carvings. I'm just giving a little bit of a grassy um, hint. It's again, it's pretty subtle, um, but it's just enough to sell the illusion that this is real. Um, again, round the old earlobe here. I'm only using the grass at the lower sections here. I'm not sort of adding it as if it's growing out of the uh, the eye because I don't think that would work so well. Um, but that's working quite nicely. Have some hairs growing out of your nose. Okay. Um, again, I'm probably being a little bit too subtle for video because the resolution is much lower on your PC screen than it would be um, on print. But I want you to be able to see it, so I'm maybe being a little less 
a little bit more over the top of the grass than I would be if I was doing this for a print. Um, again, you can change the size of the brush again using the brackets to get really subtle looking edges. And I think a little rough edge like that is a little bit more acceptable than the feathered edge that we had existing to start with. Um, so let's have a, a little look at that. Now I could spend quite a long time with the grass, um, but obviously a half hour is nearly up, 30 minutes just about to go. So let's just zoom out and just tweak a few um, little bits until our giant chalk carving is complete. And you can create a carving in the last few minutes, a uh, few seconds of anything you like, obviously, any shape that you like. You might also want to consider um, going to the uh, custom shape tool and choosing some symbols. Let me just turn off our um, chat for the moment and the chalk and just quickly grab a, a car there. Um, this is one I prepared earlier. You've got all these symbols here which you can get by going to select them from here and you've got things like uh, yeah, like the car that we picked. So if you just drew the uh, car um, like so, uh, I think I need to fill that in with the from uh, white, I'm not quite sure why it's not filled in with white itself. But basically what you could do is then drag the bevel effects here to the symbol layer and uh, you would then have a totally different shape. Let's just make the uh, selection here. Make selection, click OK. Let's fill it with white. I'm probably going over time here a little bit, but uh, what the heck. Um, so, oh, we need to turn on the layer of course. Edit fill. Click white. Now let's see if we can apply the effects that we've done to to that new layer. Um, so there they are. Drag and drop. And Bob's your uncle. There's the chalk car, <laughs> all ready for us to uh, stick on the side of a hill. Now we need to play with perspective and change that, and maybe put a displacement map through it. But you get the idea. You can actually very quickly create any design that you like uh, from the symbols option, which could be kind of fun. But let's hide that. Let's turn on the one we spent all morning or afternoon, depending on what time you're doing this. And there you go, a giant chalk shape on the hill. A little bit more grass will help. Oh, that which um, reminds me, I think I've turned off the uh, the grass. Actually, I think what I did was I slapped the symbol on top of it. So I need to add some more grass to get the final effect. But hopefully you should see something like this. Okay, have fun creating your own design and I'll see you hopefully in the next issue with some more um, top Photoshop tips.